if there was ever a title that I wanted to make me think, oh, this might actually work out okay, it's this one. Argonaut longing to be a hero. Come on. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, Season 2, Episode 10. Last episode, we had the mission. We finally had the resolve to rescue Haruhime at no matter the cost. So it's Belle and Makoto going ham. Makoto is having some issues, but she's up against a lot of very challenging adventures, so I can't blame her in the slightest. But Belle was able to successfully destroy the stone. But now we also have to deal with Aisha, Franny, Samira, Shara, whatever all their names are, which is not looking good, but I am looking forward to this episode. So remember, if you guys want early access full length to the to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, the Patreon is always down below. Um, we are four episodes ahead currently. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment. And if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, join that Dapper Squad, click that bell button so you guys always know when I post, and follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Don Machi, season two, episode 10, Argonaut, longing to be a hero. I don't know how this all happened to the pleasure quarter, but oh, is this Freya? Because she's finally said, let's get going. That's the guy, okay. Oh, I was wondering who the other Kianthrope was that looked like Beite that was saying, why are you making me doing this bunny? I think Freya is having him also spy on Bell. So he's the one who sent Freya and Otaro the report that Bell had been taken by Ishtar and that they were up to some fucking shit. So she's like, all right, we'll, we'll put them out of their misery. What is so, mm, interesting. One goddess to another. I'm gonna go have a conversation with her. One woman to another. That's even realer. I'm not gonna be involved with that one. I'm out of here. And there's one thing you don't want to get in the middle of. It is not even two gods conversating. It's two women conversating. So. Even after all that, she still feels like that. Because you're a prostitute. Who cares? You're a good person, but the heroes we long to be, the title of the episode, I love when they plug it. That's a real ass hero. I said, you're not going to, you're going to show her the hero. Hell yeah. Show her the hero that we wanted. Don't tell her about him. Exactly how he felt last episode or two episodes ago. Damn, Bell is a real ass motherfucker, man. I swear to God. Nah, fuck you, Franny. I'm gonna cast it on Bell. Cast it on Bell. Please level him up. Level him up to fight Franny. I swear to God, if Harui, if Bell gets the Ojutsu, I'm gonna fucking get a fucking boner right through my table. I swear to God. Uchi de no kozoche. Oh, I told you. My man's gonna be so nasty. Aisha is a very conflicted character. She's just sitting here watching. Oh, hell nah. Hell nah. Look at that face. I swear, I hope you cut this bitch's head off. We, she, still, she still does outrank us by one level. Okay. So they don't care about Bell. They actually don't like Bell, but they're still gonna follow Freya's orders, of course. They're not gonna go out and explicitly protect him, but they're gonna kill his enemies, which is somewhat protecting him. What is Otaro doing, though? Oh, saw Makoto out there. She fell in the bush. I was wondering about that fall from last episode. So, Otaro, I wonder why. Only reason I wonder why is because of what I was literally just talking about. Like, Freya, unless she specifically states, hey, protect Belle. You know, they don't like the one who's taking up all their goddesses' time, all their goddesses' attention. So, they're obviously going to 
protect Bell by killing the others. But if we see Bell like falling, I'm I'm not gonna jump off the ledge to save him type shit, you know. But so that's why I wonder, because I honestly don't think Freya would give a flying fuck about Makoto. So I think is Bell gonna be too upset that Makoto got murdered or killed to the point where at Bell's behest, Otaro did that for I don't. I'm just so curious why Otaro did that. I because he. He's a very interesting character to me, too. Ooh, god damn. This is the other Chianthrope that I was talking about earlier. Six. six. Alan. It was Alan, yep. Alan Fromel. Ana Freya. Nah, we're not letting that happen. She's a real ass person. Ooh, is that Aisha's sword? That is Aisha's sword. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness, Phryne is strong. Hell yeah, Bell is strong too with that fucking big ass Berserker Cutlass. So she fell through the tower or under the bridge because we're like on a bridge connecting to the tower. But where does she fall? Because I definitely want to confirm her death. I would love to find her body. Give it a couple. <clears throat> you know, just a couple extra. Oh, so it wasn't Aisha's sword. Aisha's is even cooler and bigger and more badass. God damn it. I would love right now if Franny were to run into like Otaro and like he just finished her off or some shit. That'd be dope. Yeah, go defend the town. Otaro's right down there. That would insult me. I will literally kill you because you offered that. Especially if Freya was my goddess. Are you? You dare insult Freya in front of him? Oh, I'm sorry. I just had to process that, man. I never would have thought I would love, I'd be chanting on Otaro to kill someone. I'm sorry I had to pause. I'm just like, that was a moment right there. That was a moment. So she, she likes his face now. He has the face of a man. But still. Oh, hell yeah. Literally, if your family isn't stopping us, nothing is stopping us. Oh, I'm actually happy this isn't with his normal two daggers, even though his daggers are awesome and they fit his combat style. Amazing with his mobility and shit. This is more badass. Ooh, our, oh, the Yojutsu ran out. Oh, he was waiting for it to run out because <laughs> he's a manly man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have a con. I can How did I already? So much shit is happening in this episode. I already forgot about the woman to woman conversation. So, hmm, cause, hmm. Let me know in the comments. If it's spoilery, don't tell me, obviously, because uh, Ishtar said that she tried to charm Bell last episode, but something he had, which I assumed was realist rephrased, even though it had a different name, crystallizes his emotions. So he 
can't be charmed by the likes of goddesses or gods. So, is the charming thing a power all gods and goddesses have, or is it just gods of beauty like Ishtar, like Freya? Because she, because even Aisha was saying that uh, Ishtar charmed her after Phryne beat the shit out of her. So she is no longer able to like refuse any orders. You know, she's like a entrapped. You know, she's an indentured slave at that point. So, but is Freya like another one off who has that power, or is it everyone? Because I'm, I'm gonna start. That's crazy. Because I, the only reason I say that is because like I assumed cutting off their divine powers to live as people would mean like you know, obviously they give the blessings and the statuses and stuff, but that's pretty strong power. That's how you know she's of no concern if she's laughing off what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, Hermes caused this whole thing. You don't seem upset too much about it, though. That's what I want to know. He's literally like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. No, he literally is like Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Fill my body, pierce my body, kill my body. It's like a reinforcement incantation on her sword. But we have Argonaut still, baby. Yep. This still... This still relates back to Zeus in the end of the first season. Hermes is trying to turn... Let's do it. I don't know if I agree with his methods of doing this, but I also want Bell to be this fucking hero we speak of. I cannot wait. Imagine one day Bell can defeat Otaro. Throwing the hands. Ooh. Fire bolt! A firebolt punch right to the gut. That was nasty. And I think she's a. Uh, Loki happy not only because she saw the transformation in Bell to a man, but I think she wanted Haruhime to be saved. But of course, only by force. That's weird that to charm them, Freya only has to look them in the eye. Whereas I swear Ishtar has to get like butt ass naked, you know? Elegance. You know Freya's a badass when she bitch slapped Ishtar off a building and killed her. Literally a bitch slap. Is this what happens when a god dies? She was summoned back to heaven. You can't tell that's Freya? Oh man, I want you to be able to tell that's... Ooh, what's she saying? I want that bunny ball sack. Something like that. God damn it. This is actually an awesome song it's playing. This is a crazy moment. Finally woke up. Damn, bro. We saved her. We did it. Take that fucking necklace off. Get that shit out of here. Shit, I want to fucking cry right now. My hero. The last hero of Orario. Yeah, perfect timing. You guys look for him the entire night. You guys didn't find him until he literally did everything. But hey, it's good to see you guys. Damn, that's one of the times where it ended and I'm like, okay, that's a good time to end. You know, every other time it's like, fuck. Well, I assume with the way animes are usually set up with this, we're going to spend maybe the next episode or two wrapping up the next arc, this arc and the season leading us into the first arc and the beginning of season three, which I must say this episode was fantastic. Oh my Lord. So many amazing moments. Oh, I wish I had written down more, but it's obvious Hermes is has some sort of underlying plan to turn Bell into the hero. I just wanna know more about Zeus. I think my biggest thing is I wanna know more about Grandad. Was, like, I wanna know the conversation 
he had with Hermes, like, yo, I got this fucking adopted grandson. His name is Bell. I'm teaching him all the like, like, I, but he's not gonna be like. I just want to know that, and I'm sure I'll learn more. I just can't wait, bro. I love the little finger role Hermes is playing because he helps out when he needs to. He hurts us when he needs to. He really is perfectly that role, and it's it, he plays it really well. But uh, if if it's not spoilery, could you guys answer the the reasoning behind why Otaro saved Makoto? I would love that. And then I loved Otaro and Franny and like. He's always been, no matter what, this cool, calm, collected, just stoic kind of guy, you know, just like that the entire time. It's good that we know how to push his buttons. The one thing in front of him that you do not do is talk about Freya. You do not insult Freya. Wow. Like, the way he looked, the, the way they animated him, I'm sorry. I would never fuck with that i could he's a level okay so friday is a level five who's nasty and she he caught her but he has two level but it's like damn bro like the scaling is so obvious in the show like i think that's our fucking my ultimate end game otarl is gonna be our final boss which is crazy but then like i'm, I'm always wondering about the story like and, and if this isn't a spoiler, could you guys answer for this for me too? If it is a spoiler, just say it's a spoiler and I'll, I'll learn later of the show. But is season two of Sword of Oratoria ever going to come? Or is season three also going to have? Because there's a whole side storyline about the dungeon and everything. Like, there's a, a lot of questions that need answering and a lot of major plot points that are... But like that's all about Eyes and the Loki Familia. And this is about Bell and Don Machi. So is there a sort of Oratoria season two? Or would I find that out by watching the main show? I'm curious, you know, answer me that. But other than that, this episode was fantastic. I love the fights. I love Aisha, love the sword, love the Yojutsu, loved everything about it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys want early access, full length. Actually, before we leave, I forgot. I always forget. We do have a disc, we do it because not too many people do it. As more people use it, I'll obviously be used to doing it at the end of every episode. We do have a Q&A section in the Discord. If you guys ever want to ask me any specific questions, I do it at the end of every episode that I see them on. This, I just I just noticed it. I won't lie. But uh, this one is by Gizmo Watt. Thank you for your question, my friend. He says, for Don Machi, as of now, which of the five should be like 50? Which of the five waifus, Eyes, Lily, Ryu, Seer, or Aina, do you actually see Belle dating slash getting together with in the future? Just wondering what my opinion would be. I'll be honest, I think Ryu is too traumatized in, in her past and is too mistrusting. I think Belle is literally the only, and her co-workers obviously, is the only one she trusts in the world. I can't see it being Ryu. Lily is that typical short-haired, super friendly sidekick that our main character always has, so it's not going to be her. Um, Aina, possibly, but she's the, she's the guide. You know, you can't date your guide. And then Seer... I still don't trust Seer because of the whole Freya thing. People told me um, that the logo on the necklace that Seer gave to Belle was the Freya Familia logo, which I would have known eventually. I just don't ever see the back of people on the Freya Familia. I just don't get a look at all the people's logos. But, which someone told me to look at it, think about it, but obviously didn't spoil it for me, but obviously it kind of connects the dots for me. But they were like, now that we know that that's the Freya Familia logo who Seer gave to Bell, where did Bell find the grimoire that originally gave him his spell? I was like, huh, let me think about that. He got it at the, the tavern, and Seer's the one who gave it to him. That's like when I was off camera, that's what I was like, because I was going through my comments, and I was like, holy shit. So I don't think it's Seer, only because I don't trust her. So Aina no, Seer no, Ryu no, uh, Lily no. That only leaves one, the tried and true beauty, the fucking original waifu of the show, Eyes. This is who I think eventually we could be. Because, like, it's not, and with all the other girls, like, obviously they like Bill and think he's a very cool person, but I think Eyes is one of the only ones who, like, obviously they all blush, but I think Eyes, like, genuinely likes him back. Like, she could, you know. I don't know, but that's the question. If you guys ever want to ask me anything, Discord, always down below. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. I'm going to catch you in this next one. Thank you, Gizmo Watt, for that question. Eyes, though, is your answer. Peace out, guys.